You know what's amazing to me? I, I'm hearing this news as I'm riding along. And it, it's, this is in Nashville, all right? A couple gets jacked, meaning, meaning that they um, get robbed, all right? And then the robber, uh, why he's robbing them, the um, robber, after he gets what he wants, he still shoots the man in the leg anyway and then takes off. And of course, now, while it is heinous, are you following me? But however, if you're going to rob someone, I said, if you're going to rob someone, that's the best way to make sure you're not followed is to shoot somebody in the leg. Do I agree with jacking and robbing someone? No. Matter of fact, I will help you couples out. Uh, the problem is, is that, watch this. I'm going to give you some problems here, all right, in the way that you navigate and do things. First of all, this couple pulls up at a Comfort Inn hotel room, 4 o'clock in the morning. Wrong time. You don't never do that in a major city. You don't even do that on the outskirts of a city. Pull up 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock in the morning, you should already be in. Uh, rested, it's locked, it, locked up in security. You see, the problem with our world today is, is that we think that evil is never coming our way. And we, and since we don't think it's ever coming our way because we probably lived 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, and it never came. And when it does come, you're not prepared. Uh, somebody says, what do you do in that situation, Pastor Dow? Well, again, you see, this is where when we hold gots, gathering other saints, you know, Pastor Fox um, and myself, when I'm going around answering questions, we talk about stuff like this. You know, normally uh, couples are real close together. And of course, this is what I instruct my wife to do. I instruct, I say, I tell you what, we're ever in a situation, something like that, because my wife carries. Um, I said, the first thing you do is you, you get behind me and you start putting on the Academy Award show. Oh, we'll give you anything you want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't do nothing to it. Please don't hurt us. Wait, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And the whole time you're doing that, you're behind me. My hands is up. And I'm looking at the guy. I'm talking to him. Sir, here. Just, here. Just reach. Take anything you want. I'm playing the game. I'm playing the game. I'm not rising up like I got a bulletproof vest on or something like this. I'm Hercules and bullets bounce off my chest. No, it's time to go into acting mode. While I'm doing that, my hands is up. Guess what? My wife is behind me. She is pulling her gun out. And she has her gun adjacent to my body. And because... He already has threatened our life with a gun pull. She is unloading, unloading five or six rounds into his body cavity already. You see what I mean? See, because she's standing right next to me, and, and this guy is not good. He's going to be paying attention to my speech. He's going to be looking at my hands, making sure I'm not making such a move. He thinks this woman's lost her mind, and she's going to pull four or five in, and I'm going to take the gun from her, and I'm going to finish him up real good. I promise you, there won't be nothing but one story told when we get finished. That's it. See, this is the reason why you need to start truly thinking about, number one, your environment, who you listen to, what type of churches you go to, um, because you can forget it. Listen, revenge belongs to the most high, but justice belongs to us. You need to get that in your thick head. And all throughout the scriptures, it talks about justice. Think about this. David was a warring man. He was a, I mean, a warring man. And you look at Moses, David, all these patriarchs and stuff, you're going to see them in the kingdom. And guess what? They killed a lot of people, but they didn't do it unjustly, if you understand what I mean. So this doctrine, it tells you, you have to adopt pacifism in order to be godly. Man, I don't know where you get that from. I have no, I, I understand what religion do and religion is powerful. It is powerful. We're going to a place right now. To where a man, he, um, there's, there's two or three guys, two or three white guys, they come up here to this Amish place and they break in this man's house and they beat up the daddy. Uh, they, they, they rape all the girls and they got boys in the house and none of them do anything. You know why? Because their doctrine teaches them, oh, the Lord would take care of you. But the Lord also said that he made your hands for war. <laughs> How do you see it? You're past the, by these Bible passages. They tell you exactly what to do. If a thief break in, what does it tell you to do? What does it tell you to do? It tells you the instructions teach you kill him. But see, that's how powerful religion is. You know what happened? 
A month later, these people came back again, did the exact same thing, raped his daughters. He's begging them to not do any, don't do evil, don't please don't do this, and they still doing it. Finally, a neighbor shows up. He posts himself there with a shotgun, waiting for these boogers to come back again. He slept in their house every single night, waiting for them to come back. All right? Needless to say, they end up catching the people who did it, but check this out. Check this out. The husband, the old man who had this, this family, he went insane. You know why? Because religion is in direct conflict with what nature teaches you to do as a man. As a man, you are there as a protector. You're there to guard. And see, when you have you believe wrong, you act wrong. You think wrong. You do wrong. You respond wrong. You react wrong. Everything about you is wrong. Anyway, hey. We're at this pagan Christmas time of the year and people are killing each other and everything, jacking each other. And what else do you expect? During this time of the year, there's the most deaths. Most people committing suicide. Uh, people becoming entrepreneurs because the, the economy is bad. So it's much more easy for me to take it away from you than to actually go out here and work and labor for it and get it myself. It takes too long to do that. I can just go ahead and, and benefit from you. And um, you can have the misfortune while I get the glory and I get the profit. That's the mindset of people today in this world. And you have got to learn how to change your mind in order to navigate in this environment. I hope I said something to stimulate thought. It's Pastor Dow. You have a good weekend.